gonna, if I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I want to make sure that my life made at least five million kids happy, or they found some sort of answers or resolve in my life, regardless of the negative around my name, regardless of of the bad things people say to me. I don't give a fuck. Because I know my goal in the end, and I know what I want for everyone, and I know what my message is. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to my first commentary. My name's Kivli, and I want to make a commentary video for this channel because I have a lot of strong opinions about hip hop, especially on the past situation this week. I hopped on Reddit a few days ago and saw that X was being rushed to the hospital due to shooting. I was personally in shock, but did not believe that someone like X could die so young. I thought that he would recover like every other rapper who spoke about shooting, or like 50 Cent who got shot and recovered. When X was pronounced dead, it was a reminder that we are all mortal. No matter how many guns and gang life is spoken about, we all react the same way to a bullet hole. Did not kick in until a few hours later while I was surfing on Reddit seeing further conditions and ultimately the confirmation of his death. This was followed by the bashing of many which was sickening to see. This was my push to actually get my opinion out there and make videos for you guys to enjoy. I wanted to highlight X's life and I wanted to show the positives that news reports were hiding about him all this week. X was a human that made mistakes like anyone else. I made this video as a reply to those celebrating a man's death. The fact that a troubled teenager does not deserve to die and was proving that he was paving a way for change. I wanted to point out how X changed the world of music and influenced others through emotional and physical charity, which all tied into his versatility. X was someone who poured his heart out and it was clear that he was not faking it. Rappers like Kendrick Lamar praised the deep emotions found in the album 17. You can really tell when an artist is pushing mental illness as a brand image versus X who breathed mental illness. His depression was clearly not hidden. Through this image, he created a relatable person that kids could look up to and feel understood when they were down. An example of this is in the beginning of his album, where the messages were not addressed just to his fans as a whole, but directly to the listener. X even had his phone number and email readily available on his Instagram before he passed. He is known to be very interactive with his fans, not only responding to DMs, but going as far as giving his number out at concerts, as you can see here. Here is my personal phone number, 954-242-5540. After this fucking show, you text me. You fucking text me, and if you feel like you're on the verge of giving up, you fucking text me. You hear me? After X's death, tons of direct messages with celebrities like Billie Eilish, 6 ix 9 Lil Yachty, Trippy Red, Juice World, and many others surfaced, showing how X was always pushing them to do more, always checking in with them, and always spreading positivity. To claim that X wasn't interested in changing himself or finding positivity in life is simply false. In other words, rapper Killy essentially put into the perfect words of, How are you gonna kill a healer? X not only made himself emotionally charitable to those in need, but physically charitable. After jail, X pushed people in the Helping Hand Challenge. Where he once passed Drake with negativity, he was now praising him through his actions of God's plan. X was very active through charities in his community by not only donating money, but bringing children these items himself and speaking to them. The difference in signing a $100,000 check for a charity versus actively planning and taking time to execute a charity speaks wonders about a person. Even X's final Instagram story was him planning a charity which Ski Mask plans to follow through within his name. X's change is not only seen through his actions, but also through his music. Someone listening to Look At Me would likely not be able to recognize that it is the same artist singing Hope or Changes. His change clearly influenced his music and even for the better with Sad, when it blew up and became a top hit at the beginning of this year. I personally find it unbelievable that the same artist can make me want to mosh or put me to sleep in a chill mood. Essentially, versatility is just another piece of proof that he was on the path of changing. I wanted to finish this off with something that Joe Budden pointed out about hip hop. The statement of hip-hop being a genre that accepts everybody for their mistakes. We let people who have done wrong in their life have a platform where they can express themselves in order to change. Gucci Mane found himself in and out of jail for years and eventually changed his rap persona for the better. Judging X by saying that he was not interested in changing is not what this genre is about. For example, what about 2011 Tyler the Creator with songs like Tron Cat that went on about rape and murder versus 2018 Tyler the Creator? Look what the man has changed into now. Though Tyler did not do what he said in his lyrics, there are many other artists that did so themselves, like Dee Barnes and Dr. Dre whenever he was 26, and how we all laugh about when Dr. Dre produced and is featured in the song Guilty Conscience by Eminem, in which he mentions Dee Barnes making a characterization and joke of the brutal incident. But Dr. Dre couldn't change, right? He couldn't have the biggest deal in hip-hop 20 years later with beats? Or what about Famous Dex, Kodak, or Riff Raff? This goes on with many other hip-hop groups and notoriously NWA itself but people still lined up to see the movie. I wanted to end this by saying that I did not make this video to prove that X was not guilty, but to instead question those who are so sure that a 20-year-old kid had no room for change. 
I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me know your opinions on X in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and if the feedback is positive enough on this, I'll post a low peep video reflecting on his legacy in hip hop. Thanks again for watching and have a good one guys.